Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Today, Nigerians on social media platforms are asking for justice for the superstar actress Toy Abraham. As a son, does this to her. As you all know, Toy is married to the popular Yoruba actor, producer and director Kola Uliya Jiemi, and together they have two kids, a boy and a girl. The girl is the stepdaughter of Toy Abraham, but then Toy refers to her as her daughter, her first child, and Dewey Lua, who just clocked three years old a month ago. Yuluwa is the biological son, the biological child of Tony Hebron. Tony welcomed Yuluwa in 2019. Over the years, Tony and her family have become one of Nigeria's favorite families, celebrity families. Many people love the bond they share and the way they portray their family unit. The family is preparing for Tony Abraham's birthday, which is this month. In honor of this, her husband shared this lovely clip on his official social media platform, which was a short time of their family, which was a short clip of the family spending time together in the house. And in this short clip, you could see Tony Abraham, her husband, and their son Irilua. Then Irilua was on the bed, and Tony was telling him, Iwe, bye bye. And he couldn't even budge at all. He said, bye bye. And not even trying to stand up and run after her. However, her husband also said his own bye-bye just some few minutes after they had said her own bye-bye. And you could see Iwe excitedly jumping and running after his dad, not trying to say bye-bye. This made many people remember the challenge they had done about a year ago, where kids were tested on which parents was the, their favorites. And by doing this, both parents run different directions so they wait to see whom that kid will follow when Tony's family did this challenge about a year ago it was the dad that Irilua ran after and just like that challenge this time around Irilua did not budge when Tony Abraham said bye-bye he sat still on the bed and was rather responding and saying bye-bye but then when her husband said the same thing Irilua had a totally different reaction and ran after the dad. And now so many people are calling for justice for Tony Abraham. Because it seems as he's even growing, he's having more love for the dad. It seems reserved when it comes to Tony Abraham. These are some of the things people are saying. Their colleague Bidi Miko Soko commented and said, Ah, Nibao, justice for mommy. We. This boy no send you a word best. We are on the same page. Biola Adipa also had it. But why are you like this, Iwi? Justice for mommy, we please. Happy birthday in advance, babe. Tony Abraham. Bukumi Luashina also had it. Sorry, Mark. Tony Abraham, don't worry. Jesus loves you. Queen D. Brand also had it. I hear Yalu Nyomo. In world best case. Now, Babalu Nyomo. This is so interesting. And I love the bond. I want this for my kids, too. Many other people are also commenting and wishing to Abraham a happy birthday in advance, consoling her and asking for justice on her behalf. For those who may ask who is to Abraham, we're celebrating our birthday soon, this month. Please stay with us for a short and interesting biography of Tony Abraham. Tony Abraham is a star actor, producer and a director who made her directing debut last year, 2021. As an active in the movie industry since the year 2003, and in fact, this was coincidentally that she joined the movie industry. So it was one of those times that Bookie Wright went to go and shoot a movie at a battle in Oyo State, and Tony was there just to help them on set. However, one of the actresses did not show up. She was asked to fill in for that post, and that was what marked the beginning of her journey into the movie industry. The title of that movie was To Be To Be Mbo. Since then, she has continued to feature in the best of Nollywood movies and made a name for herself. Some of the movies that she has featured in after that include Alaniba Balabake, Ebimini, Alakada, Okafor's Law, What Makes You Think, Laws in the Hair, Alakada Reluded, Esui, Akunde, Mentally, Tatu, London Fever, Wives and Strike Revolution, Celebrity Marriage, The Ghost and the Tout, Seven and a half dates. These guys, what just happened? Elevator baby. Don't get mad, get even. Made in heaven. Two weeks in Lagos. The millions. Casanova. 
Ningle Goshens, Nimbi, Diamonds in the Sky, Fate of Alakada, J. Afi, Small Chops, Shalafi Kwami, Shadow Parties, Kambili, Aki and Popo, The Prophetess, The Therapist, Day of Destiny, King of Thieves, The Stranger I Know, and The Wildfire, just to mention a few of them. She's a multi award winning actor with several awards and nominations to her name. As Ellie mentioned, she started with Dube Dubembo. This was in 2003, but then she did not join the movie industry until between 2004 and 2005 professionally. Her motivation came from her boss, Bookie Wright. Subsequently, she began to star in other films until she rose to stardom. As she grew in the movie industry, she started producing her own movies. The very first movie she produced is Ala Jota. She had plans to produce Ala Jota Reloaded. Today, she's one of the biggest brands in the Nigerian movie industry. And according to her, staying in the car first law and working with the movie director, Omoni Obuli was highly instrumental to her brand. She's not relenting, she has a consistency in making a name for herself. Tony Abraham was formerly known as Ulu Tony Aimaku, but then she changed the name to Tony Abraham according to why it was based on family's decision. This was in 2016. Then she added her husband's last name to her name. At the end of 2021, making her to Abraham at GME, she herself and the actor got married in the year 2019. And as I mentioned, they have two kids together. A little bit about her background. She was born in Oluto Yamaku in Aochi part of Edo State. Education in Edo State attended Oba Kenzo Nojo Primary School in Berlin. Later on, her father retired and the entire family moved to Ibado in Oyo State, where she spent most of her early life. In Ibado, she started from Queen Staff School. Then St. Anne's School. Thereafter, she proceeded to a Polytechnic in Ocean State for a national diploma in business studies. She also attended Olabis Nambajo University and backed a degree in philosophy before returning to a Polytechnic for an HND in market. She was the last of six children. She was born into a poor background where she had to work to support her family. So he mentioned that she used to work in Bikiri, plantain chips those days. So this is a little bit about Tony Abraham the celebrant. And we are coming to the end of this episode where many people are asking and seeking for justice for the star actress Tony Abraham as her son does this. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Happy birthday in advance to Tony Abraham. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily contents.